Hi, Carol here. A warm welcome to my craft room. Well, I finally got my business cards. They arrived, 500 of them. My hubby picked them up for me, and I'll share a little bit about that. And I wanted to share my craft room with you and my new glass mat. This is a tempered glass mat. Now, I did order Tim Holtz glass mat, but for different reasons. They're both for different reasons. This one is to practice calligraphy and brush lettering to share with you. So I want, I didn't want any lines on it, grid marks, excuse me. I'm going to put my own lines on this, but I thought I would just show you what my intentions are for the future for having two glass mats. <laughs> I have the room on this island where I work from. I'm blessed to have all the Copic markers. My husband bought them for me for my birthday a few years back. And these are the supplies I I reach for a lot of the time, so I keep them out. And I am just ordered two more lights because of the glare. I'm getting some glare, so I want to get rid of uh, the light, the lighting behind me, like that octopus light. My Coca-Cola is a must, of course. My mic, uh, the Vagabond, my Big Shot Plus is behind there on another unit. I'm going to jump in. I'm not showing you my room. Don't panic. <laughs> I just did a little cleanup on my tapes. You know, the tape I use and the products I reach for more often are behind my chair here. This little unit is my hot glue gun, some rags, uh, my clear embossing powder, my white embossing powder that I reach for quickly, daubers, paint brushes, things of that nature, my 12 by 12 sheet, my uh, couple of cutters I keep up there because I can turn around and reach for them. My scoreboard, 12 by 12 like I said. This is my compressor for my Copics I keep down there. And a little stool if I have to get up and do anything with my tripod and I can't reach it. Yes. So that's just a tiny bit of the reasoning and where I work from. Now on this tempered glass mat that I bought at the stationery store. It has higher legs and I loved this because I can put the other tempered, the Tim Holtz mat, which is tempered glass, underneath and it's not going to bother me because the Tim Holtz mat uh, is a little uh, bit shorter, you know, it's more compact, it's not as large. So that's great. Yes, I'm taking a, a drink out of my Coca-Cola, but the sad part is, is I don't like the fact that you can see yourself. Because <laughs> when I did this video, I had no makeup on. I mean, I just sat down. I just, you know, they, my daughter-in-law went and picked it up for me. And I love the fact that this tempered glass is magnetized on the back. So it came with two magnets right there. And then I put my sticky mat, which you could cut in you know, half and put one to the left side if you wanted or the right side even, you know, like the Tim Holtz mat. There's the magnets holding my new uh, business cards. I'm going to discuss what I want to do with those. If anybody's interested and you have meetings or you meet with people and you want to give out some of my cards, I'll send them to you if you like. Just let me know. And then I was at the stationery store and I saw these uh, zebra markers, zebra markers. I never heard of them. And they're like calligraphy uh, edges on them and they have a bullet nib at the other end and these colors are beautiful they're two dollars a pack I couldn't resist it um, and then I find out yes they are uh, well known the the zebra markers then I ordered my own stamp for the back of my uh, it's one of those quick stamps my friend Sandy over on uh, crafting for almost everyone she, she uses something like this, so I grabbed that um, notion from her, and I ordered one of my own. Now, I do have stamps, but it takes time to go get them, put them on a block, blah, blah, blah. And this one, I always know it's going to be centered by the square on the outside. I picked up some white chalk markers, and these are the magnets. Really nice. You can put one underneath and one on the top. If something is, you really want it to stay on there, you can just slide your hand underneath because you have at least an inch and put them on there. I lifted one up. See how I'm dragging it across? Watch this. I put it underneath and then it just grabs it right there. Let me try it again. 
no, I'm just going to fold up my project. That was my last project and carry on. Now, there's 500 business cards. We have a few places in our town that said they would keep them by their registers. And this is so I can promote my channel, obviously. It says to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It has my name and my logo. That's it. And if you are interested, if you meet with a lot of people that you craft with or whatever, and you'd like to hand them out uh, that to your friends or whatever, email me and I will send you a few of them to do just that if you um, meet up with people you know go on YouTube and subscribe to other creators there they are and that's the logo I have at the top of my blog and the top of my channel Carol's Craft Room and I was really excited when they came in I couldn't uh, I'm there um, could you run down and get these for me to my husband okay so here this is the reason why I bought this extra board. I want, I had a lot of people, let me go there. So many of you have asked me to share brush lettering and calligraphy, and there's so many styles of brush lettering. And I'm going to be able to put the lines on this board, and I'll show you later on how it erases quickly. And that way I'll be able to show you what the lines mean, your spacing why it's important to get your spacing right. This one isn't because see beside the B and the L, it's close together. And then I moved over on the E. And then the ESS is not too badly spaced. But anyway, I'll show you how to do that. And I thought it was a good way to, pr rep to present brush lettering because I'll have a large space. I'll be able to erase if it doesn't turn out right instead of working really close with a pen and a piece of paper so that's the reason why I bought this and then if um, you know if you're interested I it was half price I got it for $66 and then I ordered these markers but any dry board markers will work on tempered glass and here I'm just playing around because I wanted to chat with you while I was, you know, I just unpacked it. So I'm just seeing, okay, practice. <laughs> so anyway, it's really funny when I say anyway. I'm always correcting my grandchildren when they say anyways. I say no, it's archaic. You want to say anyway. Grammatically, it's formal to say it. Now, if you look it up, <laughs> I don't want to get into any controversy with that, but anyways is in the dictionary. And it is used as an archaic term, like back in the, you know, Middle English or the Old English, they would use it. But now they've taken it out and it's not a standard for using. It's a non-standard, like an informal word. And uh, some people don't like to hear it, like myself, but it's not uh, that it, you know, it's not that it's not a word. It is in the dictionary, but it's from way back when, you know, because generally it's, it's quite common to end adverbs in an S. So, uh, you know, we still have all ways and we have unawares and stuff like that but today they've taken off that the s and they say anyway and some people have stuck to the you know archaic anyways uh but anyhow yeah that's just uh one of my little things my little idiosyncrasies i guess you would say and i think it's kind of nice to learn things like that you know i think in uh britain they still use it, you know, like towards or, um, so anyway, it's not that far-fetched to say anyways, but you don't hear it often today. Uh, it, it's informal, but if you were to do a formal letter or anything like that, you would use any way instead of anyways. So there you have it. Yeah. My mom used to explain those things to me, you know. You don't want to say, oh, there goes 10 deers. I always tell my grandchildren that, no. It's ten deer, plural, deer, yes. Anyway, not anyways. <laughs> Please don't comment and tell me, uh, you know, I'm not doing this to get uh, in any type of conflict. 
I'm just sharing some of the things that I've learned from my mom over the years and that's one of them. So I'm able to correct my grandchildren on that one. I always tell them that. So they'll come in and they go, anyways, Nan, do you think I could have a cookie? <laughs> well, let's get off that topic. <laughs> because we, uh, I know a lot of people that subscribe to my channel and you know I like to gab. Another thing is I didn't put any makeup on when I started this. I was just, when I my daughter-in-law brought it over, I was so excited. I didn't even think I'm going to be able to see me in there. I couldn't wait to get on the phone to order a couple of lights and some diffusers. That was exciting to know that I could take uh, my camcorder in and get a diffuser put on it. So that's exciting. And you know what? This is excellent when you have your grandchildren over. And if you're teaching them uh, in any form with their homework, I thought this would be great. Here I'm just practicing some letters. I had our grandson Hunter over when I received this. He was sitting on the left-hand side of me. Most of the time I did this project on this board and we were conversing back and forth, back and forth, and he was sharing things he liked to put on there. So I said, come on, Hunter, let's uh, do some work on here. So you'll see him in a minute. These are the dry erase uh, non, is that his little hand or my hand? I can't tell. That's his little hand, yes. Here he's sitting on my lap while I was doing it. He's just three. So I thought, look at him, he's so excited. I got, I have this, I got and have, that's another one that drives me nuts. I have him uh, to the right hand side and uh, you want to make sure you have your got and your have down, I tell my grandchildren. You don't got it, you have it, yes. <laughs> he stuck his tongue out. Hello. <laughs> he can see himself there in the camera, see how the camera's out? He just laughs and he thinks that's a hoot. So anyway, I thought I would show, oh, hey, hey, you're walking on my circle. Yes, what are you thinking of? So I'm getting ready to do a little bit of uh, zentangling on here. And Hunter was watching me to the left-hand side. You can see I'm looking over at him. I didn't even think I brushed my hair. <laughs> this is first thing in the morning. Eeks, I did brush my teeth though. That's good, right? So we're just having a chat, chat. I'm looking over. He's sitting on the left-hand side. So if you see my head always going to the left when I speed this up, it's because little Hunter's joining me right here. He couldn't believe I put a plate down on here and drew a circle. So I'm yakking with them and uh, having some fun, just doing a little bit of zentangling just to test this out. And honestly, he played with this board for a good hour, you know, in between, before I started this. And he's so sweet because... Um, he, he just loves to experiment and he's learning his letters now and he just loves to use this board. I'm going to have it out all the time. I mean, what you can't do anything wrong with it. You just wipe it down and then spray it at the end and you get all those lines out. But I wanted to just quickly show you how easy it is to practice. And I'm hoping if you're interested in brush lettering and learning about calligraphy, um, yeah, it's really funny that uh, I would love to have taken courses throughout my life, but, I, you know, I took them for my work, of course, but uh, I just find if you like something and you purchase a book, you can pretty well learn it if you practice. It's all about practice. Here, I'm just practicing just different fonts, how to use them. I did that squiggle going down because I want my T to be going through that, but it wasn't exactly how I was thinking about it. Hunter was getting such a big kick at it <laughs> um, that I could just erase it like that, you know, just take a cloth and erase it off. So I'm going to try it again. I'm going to squiggle. Okay, how should I do it there? You know, I'm asking, what about that one? And he's there, oh, I like that one. So I'm just going to put, I think writing is what I put. Yeah, he's making me laugh to there. I look at her and I start laughing. And uh, so it's a good practice board. If you're looking for something to practice, you know, not only brush lettering, practice anything. You're zentangling. It would be great 
it's better to be able to practice to the right and then do your good, your good lettering on the left than to waste paper, you know? I think this will pay for itself. I really do. That's how I, excuse me. Oh, I can't believe he came on there and started scratching. <laughs> it did say it's scratch resistant. So he was behaving right there, right? Yeah, I'm looking over at uh, my grandson. Oh, is this right, Hunter? There we go, the letter B. So cute. He said, Nanny, I didn't learn to be like that. I said, no, this is different lettering. And uh, then I say, okay, what about the C? Let's do the different lettering in a C. Yes, he played with this for an hour. I think I told, shared that with you. It was just wonderful. And now we're going to finish up. I want to show you this. And it's believe on the Lord Jesus and thou shalt be saved. I had so much fun, you know, just practicing my letters. And then I was going to put this up yesterday. And then today I thought to myself, oh, I've got to show you that it works with the oxide inks. Look how vibrant it is. The same thing as the Tim Holtz mat. This just doesn't have the grids. Uh, it'll work with the ruler because it's raised up. So if you can't get this in an area where you live, you know, the Tim Holtz mat won't be delivered to wherever, you know, whatever country and you can't get it. Tempered glass is available. I got mine at a stationery store. Here I'm just showing you that I took a marker, you know, some water and I used a dry paper towel here to get it off and it would have I just didn't want to wreck the zentangling for now. So I just sprayed a little bit of water on there and I was super duper happy because now I'll be able to paint things and practice my painting skills with um, the oxide inks. So you have yourself a blessed week, my friends. I always appreciate you dropping by. This is just a little extra. It's so funny because you know I like to buy things in twos. So now when the Tim Holtz mat comes, I'll be able to slide it underneath and use both of them for two different reasons. So take care, enjoy the pictures, and I will see you on the next tutorial.